All right, I'm Carl Kent. I'm going to show you the usefulness of a gigapan image that was created by overlapping uh, lots of images zoomed in on this display. So the photographer got up on a ladder and he looked down on all these tables at an auction estate sale and he had a camera with a zoom lens, not sure exactly the power on it, but he zoomed in uh, way over here pointing his camera. Now, he kept the axis of the cam camera the same, and then he moved it uh, and overlapped one-third each of these um, images that uh, consist, um, that this big image consists of. And then he uh, put them together with um, Microsoft ICE or some other concatenation software, which I'll be demonstrating in another video. But let's see how useful this image is. So we can scroll across it this way, and see the how much he encompassed. But the whole idea is people want to uh, visit this auction site and they want to be able to zoom in on all the exhibits and take a careful look at them and know where they're located and so on. And uh, so it's a handy way, instead of having individual in, in, you know, uh, pictures of each item, you have this one big image and you can see where they're located. So let's start zooming in. I'm going to use the GigaPan website and I'm going to start way over here in the corner. I'm going to zoom in on some of the uh, exhibits we have here. Um, and by the way, you can see a part of a person. That's because the person moved um, and the, uh, the uh, image of that person isn't complete. But that's not our objective. Here we go. We can see all kinds of containers here. Flour. <clears throat> Quaker Oats, go back up here and see you got lighting. I'm going to zoom back out again. And now we're going to move over to this table. More ornaments. <clears throat> Here's another table here. Glassware. Lots of glassware. We can zoom in and see quite a bit of detail in each of the items. Now we can zoom around. Some other tables over here. There's some little tiny objects. Salt and pepper shakers, silverware, abacus. And so here I am exploring this amazing gigapan image by zooming in on the website. Now, you don't actually have to put a gigapan image up on a website to explore it. Uh, you can actually um, use Windows... Um, photo viewer to do it. So if you're presenting like with a projector, you don't have to even be online to project your uh, uh, videos and zoom in on them. But you can see that. So if I would go to this auction to take a look at all these things, I could actually um, know exactly where I want to go uh, to put my, um, my bid in. And if it was an estate sale, if I was going to go to the estate sale, I wouldn't have to wonder where all these things were in this um, estate sale. I'm just going to keep zooming in on some more of the items. There's some books here, maybe some games, puzzles, needlecraft. Aggravation. And 
looks like we have some stuffed animals back here. So here I am browsing. This is amazing inventory. There's a hat. Not arranged in any particular way in some cases, but with this ability to zoom in and not actually be there, you're able to uh, give a good description of what what item you're wanting to bid on or to go in person, you know where to pick it up. There's some furniture over here. More items. Looks like some cap guns. Holsters. Some more toys. I'm just using my mouse to zoom in on this image. I mean, here's the head of a person whose body moved out of the frame so they didn't get their whole picture taken there. <laughs> Uh, okay, so here's some tools of various kind, kitchen tools, looks like uh, some kind of stands, a little bit of a log cabin, and I'm going to zoom back out again, see the whole display. There's some parts back here I didn't see yet. Some shades, lamps. Yeah, it looks like an old sleigh there, too. And some more toys. So I give it gives you an idea of the usefulness of these Gigapan images and the way we're taken is a man got up on the ladder with a zoom lens and he took a picture, uh, you know, way over here, zoomed in, another picture, and he overlaid, he might have taken a picture like around this area, then another picture here, another picture here, another picture here, and then moved back up to the next column of pictures and overlapped them by one third. So if he took a picture here, then the next picture he took would overlap that by one third. And the same if he went down, he'd overlap at one third coming down as well as over here. And he did the same thing throughout this and then brought all these images, hundreds of them, zoomed in um, into uh, Microsoft ICE or Photoshop or other concatenation programs and was able then to produce this um, pretty, uh, very zoomable image for us to, uh, to use. This is just one use of gigapan imagery. I'm going to be looking at some others, zooming in on artwork, zooming in on an urban area, and so on and so forth. Thanks for watching.